Hey Internet, my name is Abby and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. We are back and there is apparently a creeper. Hi guy, do we have some arrows? We do have only one arrow left. Well, this is not enough. This is not enough to deal with this guy. But okay, let's move out. Maybe we can ooh, circumvent him. Yes, seems to be working. Okay, yeah, we have circumvented this creeper. And yes, today is Wednesday, October 15th, and there's another creeper. Perfect. Just perfect. Um, I have an empty bucket, so maybe I will just venture out and descend down to my cave once again to grab some more lever. And maybe in the meantime, the creepers will decide to say, okay, uh, apparently he is not visiting his sheep, so we will despawn or so. And yeah, this would be really helpful. So yeah, let me just try this. Uh, well, okay, so much about this. Ooh, this was a surprise. Okay, this guy is now following me and there is a skeleton and uh, it's pretty complicated to fight in this area. So let me at first deal with this guy. Okay, then I got some... I got two arrows. Okay, uh, with two arrows I can at least damage this guy. Oh, uh, how do I board? Um, no, not this way. Okay, so guy, second try. Okay, okay. Whoa, this was close. This was really a, a surprise <laughs> as I walked around the corner and suddenly a creeper was in front of me. Uh, so where was I? Today, October, Wednesday, fifteenth. Uh, uh, no, today is Wednesday, October fifteenth, and yeah, a lot of things are going on. Uh, and I'm not quite sure what uh, or which is the first topic I should talk about. Well, on the one thing, today I was woken up by a thunderstorm and I'm not quite sure if this is now completely unusual for the mid of October for Germany or not. To me it feels a little bit strange because I ha do have the slight feeling that, well, we over the last years we had not really thunderstorm that late in, in the months. And well, of course, summer is over, but on the other hand, it still seems to be a uh, summer outside. And yeah, this is completely strange, uh, especially yesterday. I was out running in the morning and well, it was so humid, it was almost like still as if it would be still summer outside. And well, yeah, this is this is completely crazy. I'm not quite sure what is going on with the crazy weather. Uh, and well, of course, the... The leaves of the trees are currently turning colorful and this is pretty interesting but on the other hand uh, it's completely strange because normally um, it gets colder. Oh no, this was a wrong. I need a new torch. Uh, usually it gets colder during October outside and then yeah, when it gets colder the leaves start falling off and well often we have beautiful weather with a lot of sunshine and sometimes temperatures up to 20 degrees but as soon as you are in the shadow or as soon as the sun sets it gets really cold but well not this year it's completely crazy it's as if the summer is still there and yeah I'm not quite sure what is going on and I have the slight feeling something is really really changing over time with our climate and I have also the, the slight feeling uh, that maybe we won't have really a fall. Uh, so here it's summer and suddenly it's winter or so and well let's skip fall, let's skip sp uh, spring and even winter I am I hope we will have this time of winter because uh, last winter we had no winter at all. I know uh, over the Great Pond uh, over in the States in Northern America there was a very long winter and a very hard winter but over here in Europe and uh, Germany we usually do have also quite a long winter and snow and all the things but last year or last season it was like yeah no winter it was only often about 8 degrees outside and I'm not quite sure this is a little bit strange and well in this case I do have the there's a strange feeling that yeah something is completely and it's terrible wrong and I'm not really happy about this and well I think we can see over time more and more indications for a changing climate and uh, 
Well, because we can see this already, I'm not quite sure why we are not starting to change anything. I mean, why do we need to still do so much uh, pollution to the environment? Why do we need to use our cars for all the small things? I mean, I try to uh, uh, walk or do all the things I can do by foot instead of using cars or anything like this. And of course, when I have to travel for longer distances, of course, then the car is the best choice. But on the other hand, for all the other things like going shopping or so, why I uh, should need a car when I can just grab my, my backpack and go shopping on foot or so. And well, there are also a lot of other things where we have a very high energy consumption. And well, especially uh, just when I see here in my in the house where I'm living, uh, we have six floors, so it's no problem at all to just uh, use a staircase and walk up. And well, this is, this is not a challenge at all. But well, and well, I myself, I'm living in the fifth floor, and I barely use the elevator. I'm only using the elevator when I have to carry down a lot of weight and or a lot of unwieldy things so I, that uh, that I can get stuck in the in the corridors of the of the staircase but on the other um, situations why I should take an elevator and waste energy when I just can walk up the stairs and especially when I walk up the stairs I am also doing some uh, some training and this is good for my health so I'm not quite sure and uh, well I observe this a lot of times here and well there are a lot of other examples for a very high energy consumption for apparently no reason and well I think this is also a little bit contributing to the whole problem we have now with the changing climate and so and well I'm I'm really sad about this because I I do like the the seasons and especially I like the winter time and I I hope that we can preserve our nature because this is the only thing we have and well if we destroy uh, the nature around us then yeah we we might be in problem because we do have only this, this one nature and one once it's gone then it's gone and we can't change it anymore and so I'm here and everything is just uh, created the whole discussion and all the the, the chain of swords is created by a thunderstorm in the morning because I found this was pretty unusual and okay it was also a little bit unusual to have this warm temperature and this high um, humid clear, uh, climate yesterday as I was running outside and well this all is, is completely strange for this uh, time of the year especially some years ago during October as I said we had another creeper um, let me run I hope he is not following me uh, we had now I'm stuck now I'm stuck um, yeah we had as I said often beautiful weather but uh, it was cold in the evening and in the morning and sometimes late in October we had the first snow but we had the first snow after yeah this is exactly what I anticipated uh, and ah, I wanted to say something and yeah, so in this case, uh, yeah, we had the fall before the first snow arrived, and now we have no fall, and this is uh, completely crazy currently. And well, of course, when I now look outside of my window, I see that there are some colorful leaves, but uh, I'm not quite quite sure what is going on currently. And well, okay, uh, so much about the latest weather phenomena. Then, uh, yesterday, I had the second uh, Kerbal Space Program session for the for, at university, and I got a new or some new results from a survey, and now I have or, or a bunch or a staple of papers lying here around, and I need now to uh, look through them to see who if someone has improved and I hope that someone has improved and then I also ask my students to rate all the different game mechanics and how they were interested in these game mechanics and how useful these game mechanics were and so on and here yeah, uh, so I hope that I got some good results and oh, this was wrong and here, yeah, I am excited about this and I hope I really hope that I get good results and not that I'm uh, starting to look through these 
results or the the surveys and then I find out oh dear no one has improved everything is as bad as before or so and this would be a clear disappointment because then I would not be able to prove my uh, hypothesis and yeah so in this case please keep your fingers crossed that I get good results and I will keep my fingers crossed by myself that I will get good results when I start evaluating this uh, survey and when I look through the results and yeah so I'm pretty interested to see what is going on. And speaking about the the Kerbal Space Program project now, um, the next uh, date is at the end of October. Now we have only time for every uh, huh? Yeah, we we have to skip one week now. And well, then I'm excited to see because then we will really start doing some calculations with Kerbal Space Program, and I'm excited to see if this will improve the overall learning outcome of the students if they then perform better in the final exam than the students who haven't played. And yeah, so a uh, lot exciting stuff is going on, and it's time to go to bed. And yeah, so this is what I wanted to talk about my. Uh, my Kerbal Space Program project. As I said, I have now new results, and now I have to evaluate these results. And I'm I'm really excited about this, and I I can't wait to see what is what is the outcome of this. And so uh, it's yeah, it's pretty exciting. And what else is going on? Then another interesting news in uh, space flight or in astronomy. Uh, well, on the one hand, in the last episode I was talking about this WASP-43B, I guess, or so. And yeah, I have currently on my notes that I like to... Uh, how I do this best? Um, how do I build the terminal best? I need to fill up this the slope, or what, I, what should I do? Or should I create some kind of overhang here with the building? This would be strange as well. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Maybe I should create some kind of pillar or so. This could be interesting. Yeah, let me create some kind of pillar or so. Maybe this is this is a nice idea. Or should I end? No, I can't end it here. But I can't, or I could end it here. Uh, let me just have a look when I end here. So yeah, um, so uh. The news I have read on the on 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 spaceweather.now was uh, rewrite the textbooks, and it's pretty it's pretty interesting because they found out with the was this a yeah it was a lunar reconnaissance orbiter they found evidence for a volcanic eruption on the moon uh, only not more than 100 million years ago. So uh, yeah, this might sound still like uh, a long time ago, but at first they have assumed that the last uh, volcanic eruption or the last volcan volcanism on the surface of Moon happened about a billion years of uh, um, uh, happened about a billion years uh, ago, and now it's only 100 million years ago. Wow, there's a lot of still there are a lot of numbers and there are a lot of zeros involved to. Uh, create these numbers, but this is pretty interesting to see that uh, apparently... No, I have to extend this building this way. Okay, I have to create some kind of pillar to make this building stable. Okay, this is interesting. And now looking at the apron here, yeah, it's it's okay. It's a little bit oversized, but I think this is, this is a good dimension. I can live with this. Here, I think this is good. This is good. Now, I finished the apron. I finished the runway. I have some incoming and arriving traffic. I do have some traffic on the ground. I have an okay. I have to maybe build a little bit better the way up there. But I do have a nice tower. And well, the only thing now missing is the the terminal. So okay, I have now to think about how I can create this terminal. And yeah, this is pretty interesting that they found with a lunar reconnaissance orbiter that there might have been a volcanic eruption uh, no longer than 100 million years ago. And this is pretty interesting. And um, they, uh, there might be even some features that are younger 
than uh, 50 million years. So this this is really special and this is really exciting to to think about that we still are able to find new information about the well not recent but about the history of our moon and well this this is this is cool this is completely crazy this is interesting and this is just amazing and well one thing that it's it was so hard to discover is that um let me just see um it's hard to see this from earth because these features are often only about 500 meters in size or in dimension so this is pretty small and so it's very hard to discover this from from our earth or from our perspective from uh, perspective from the earth and well this is this is just amazing and this is just crazy and interesting and great to to see that these these things are discovered right now and well then uh, oh yeah i wanted to say something else about this uh wasp 43b i have currently a note on my to-do list that i like to start once again um what's it called thingy um or the, the space space engine yeah space engine i wanted to start space engine again and check out if i can or of this uh, star and this planet is implemented in Space Engine so that I can uh, here find out where it is and that I might be able to talk about this, this planet also in Space Engine and I think this could be pretty interesting and I'm looking forward to this to find out but yeah this is one thing on my to-do list and then what else is going on today uh, in the evening so uh, for you or uh, well what was this? I think it was 8 a.m. Eastern time, so it should be 12 GMT, I guess, I hope. Um, we will have the next spacewalk on the International Space Station with two American astronauts, and I'm really looking forward to this, to follow them doing their job, doing their spacewalk, doing their experiments or their work on the station and as I said it's always interesting to see the live feed of these astronauts how they work at the station and uh, well when when you're even able to see the, the time on their watches to, to know okay this is really happening right now this is this is live and well this is all the time pretty impressive and really amazing and wait what I'm doing here no 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 or yes yes this is good but wrong no wait i have the slight feeling i'm doing currently something terrible wrong but no 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 this is good what i'm doing Ooh. but i think i have to let me just think i have a special thing in mind if this would be the the construction no it's not working uh, ha! I do have an issue right now and I'm not quite sure how I can fix this. Ha ha! Uh, well, uh, my, my main my, uh, let me just demonstrate this to you uh, because it might be confusing. So yeah, uh, then today a spacewalk is coming up and uh, when this video will be published, uh, the spacewalk is well, it's going on right now, and uh, so, yeah, maybe if you watch this video in time, you will be able to catch some of the spacewalk, and if not, then maybe you are able to see some amazing pictures or some selfies of the astronauts and so on, and yeah, so, this is currently going on, and it's pretty exciting, and, well, it's not right now for me going on, uh, but I'm still looking forward. So what I like to do is, I like to, no, no dang it, I like to... No, yes, this is good. I like to create a uh, more or less building out of glass. But in order to do so, I'll, I still like to have a basic construction in the interior. So I have to create basically a cube out of glass. And then I like to have an interior building which is not out of glass. So this means I have to create maybe some pillars directly in this corner and remove these pillars out here. I hope I made my point clear, but yeah, this is this is now the idea I do have in mind. 
So let me just continue a little bit to see if this is looking as I like and that everything is fine and working. Let me just, oh, how do I now create something on top of here? So the new pillar should be around there. Can I access this somehow? Yes, okay. This means I have to now remove this one. Let me just do this. Okay, and this one. Then I like to continue this way and around here. And yes, yeah, speaking about space flight, uh, space flight things, uh, not only uh, spacewalk is going on tomorrow, we will do have an Ariane 5 launch at, I guess it's scheduled for 9 p.m. GMT, so the conversion is again your job. And the launch window extends up to 9. Let me just grab my notes until 9.51. So, yeah, uh, it's an even, or I'm not quite sure, it's an evening launch for me in good old Europe, but I'm not quite sure what time is it uh, over the pond at the at French Guiana. But I'm pretty excited about this. So, yeah, we, we have a lot of things, we had, we have a lot of exciting things going on, as I said, like the, the spacewalk or and the the rocket launch with two telecommunication satellites for Latin America. And yeah, this is just amazing and just interesting and I'm really looking forward to this. And here, yeah, this already wraps up my, my to-do list for this episode. And I think I have mentioned all the things I wanted to mention. And okay, it's hard to see in the distance right now because I wasn't able to finish the building process. But yeah, this should give us now a basic idea what I like to create uh, and how the terminal should look like uh, when I'm finished with this. And yeah, so uh, as I said, a lot of things are going on. Spacewalk, volcanism on the surface of the moon. Yeah, it's really hard to see because I've just managed to create such a small piece of the building, but well, nevertheless, it's a good start, and I like to continue with this in the next episode. And oh yeah, speaking about the next episode, uh, I think we will have now a short break of the coffee breaks, because um, yeah, uh, the the next episode would be on su uh, Sunday, but I don't think that I will really have time on Sunday to create a new episode. And no, 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 don't throw the bread away. And in this case here, yeah, and I like because um, the coffee break is about all the things that are going on in my life. As I said just before, uh, I did the second survey with the Curve Space Program session for at university and so on. And this just happened yesterday. And so I like to keep it in time. And because I'm not able to record an episode on Sunday or Saturday evening, I think we have to have a short break and I'm even not quite sure for Wednesday. Maybe I'm able to create some kind of intermediate episode for Thursday or so, but I think there will be maybe a break for one week or so uh, of the coffee breaks because, uh, yeah, um, in contrast to all the other episodes like Herbal Space Program, like Buzz Aldrin Space Program Manager and all the other Let's Play series or Spin Tires, I can't record anything in advance because, well, it's about the, the things that are going on in my life and I'm not quite sure what will happen in the next day. So in this case, we have unfortunately to do a short break. But yeah, we will see. And in this case, I hope you will be joining me in the next episode, whenever this next episode will be. And here. So, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Abby. See you.